Hi everyone, this is Ethan with another basic HTML tutorial. Today we'll just be covering what makes up an HTML element, and we're going to be covering the heading elements as well as the paragraph element. Now these elements are actually coded within the body of your HTML document, and the body of an HTML document is going to contain the content the browser will actually be displaying. This content is made up of different HTML elements. Now most elements in HTML have an opening tag, content, and a closing tag. This isn't the case with all elements, like the image element for instance, or the break element. However, we'll be reviewing those in later tutorials. Now we're going to start out with our heading element. Keep in mind not to confuse a heading element with the head of your HTML document. There are two completely separate things. Heading elements are good for titles or separating information, with the most important headings being more emphasized than the less important headings. Search engines use headings to index the structure and content of your web pages. Users often skim a page by its headings. It's important to use headings to show the document structure. Each heading has a different default size. However, you can style these sizes or these headings within your CSS. We're going to start out with H1 with that opening tag being less than, H1 greater than, and the content within the heading is just going to be this is my first heading. And we're going to close that out with our closing tag less than backslash H1 greater than. So as you can see, it's going to show up in the right side here in our live view. This is my first heading. Opening tag being less than H1 greater than, the content being this is my first heading, and the closing tag being less than backslash H1 greater than. Now the opening tag, content, and closing tag all put together make up an HTML element. As I mentioned before, there are six different headings, H1 being the most important or adding the most emphasis to your text, and H6 being the least important or adding slight emphasis to your text. So I'm going to add a space here, and I'm going to go ahead and use an H3 element. That way you can see the difference. So again, we have our opening tag, our content, and our closing tag making up the heading three element. And you can notice in the live view that it is substantially smaller and less emphasized than the heading one element. The next element we're gonna be reviewing is the paragraph element. Now paragraph elements are good for small or large bodies of text. Similar to the heading elements, there is an opening tag, the content, and a closing tag. So let's think of H1 as being the title, H3 being the subtitle, and now we're going to add our paragraph. So I'm going to add my spaces there and we're going to type out that opening tag as less than P greater than, P standing for paragraph. And we have our content there and then I'm going to close that out with less than backslash P greater than. So once again we have our opening tag here, we have all the content in between and then we have our closing tag. Keep in mind all of these elements are within the opening tag of the body and the closing tag of the body. So as you can see in our live view, the paragraph tag is actually a lot less emphasized. It's more or less regular text and it's good for small to large bodies of text. So keeping in mind the heading elements are good for creating hierarchy or structure within your document and there are six of them, H1 through H6. And we also have the paragraph tag which is great for small to large bodies of text. Now as you can see HTML is styled rather plainly because the browser has a default style but in later tutorials we'll be covering CSS on how to style these headings and these paragraphs. All right, everyone, that concludes today's tutorial on basic elements within the body, including the heading element and the paragraph element. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please click subscribe and always check back for more, and have a great day.